Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm showing some small exercise uh, above ceiling, uh, how to run the cable trace in rivet. So here I have uh, one of the rivet plan linked over here. So I need to run some cable trace through this uh, corridor. How to do that one, I will show you. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel. So this is the one of the corridor. So I need to run the cable trace from this SMDB panel up to the up to here and some of the cable tray need to be um, uh, rise from this uh, um, top so that is what i'm trying to show you if you like my video please subscribe my channel so go to the system and then take the cable tray i want to use this 300 mm cable tray for here or 450 i'll choose uh, 300 for here and i want to start from this panel so i'm just uh, taking the elevations uh, around uh, 3000 yeah, just uh, giving like a 2850 the elevation uh, okay then uh, running like from here and one of the cable so I'm going to run like this and uh, from here this is the corridor so just uh, I want to take it from this side up to up to here so you can uh, directly draw the cable tray like this so it will go like uh, uh, the easy way you can run the cable tray like that okay so just want to uh, move this one up to here then to run another cable tray also here just uh, just create similar so just uh, i want to make it the another uh, service type for this one just take it from here the same elevation it was also going the same cable tray size so just uh, run the cable tray like this and you can uh, run the cable tray from here like this we can run up to here i think just we can run the cable trap to this riser so just draw, draw the light like this you can see the both cable trace are going over here the same level if you look in the 3d view if you are trying to select this one yeah it is uh, it is showing below the uh, it was below the ceiling right so this is our ceiling so it was not possible to run below the ceiling so we need to uh, run the cable tray above above ceiling so for that you just need to do the change the elevation so i'm just changing the elevation so our ceiling is this one so we need to change the elevation to 350 so this is the um, this is the elevation now it is going to the above ceiling but it is touching with the above slab so we need to change another elevations uh, we can say like uh, to 3000 yeah i think uh, this is not perfect one 3150 so like that you can adjust the, uh, through this if you, if you look in the 3d view you can get the idea about the um, ceiling heights and other things so it is running like that okay so once it's come here maybe you will be get a lot of uh, spaces i'll show you that one so here is a less space of the ceiling so that is what it is coming like this and uh, if you go through on the sides just touching this one up to here so you can see the cable tray running like that right yes so i think here is it is not showing any riser but we will put it over there and uh, you want to make some um, branches for this one so you can easily click on this one right click and uh, create similar then you can uh, if you want to run up to here one cable tray from this branch so you can just select that one and you can uh, run the cable tray like if you want to sell uh, make it the bending over here like that so you can make the cable tray easily up to here right and from here also you can make a same um, the process so if you want to make this one cable tray one so just you need to be uh, make a branch like that so this, this is cable tray two so you can select that one and change the service type to zt-2 so it will show like this right and uh, if you want to put some cable test supports also you can put the supports so i have some support families over here if you can go to the electrical cable tray fittings 
I want I have some cable test supports over here wall mounted support and uh, yeah cable test support wall mounted and cable test supports also here I just drag it over the here this one so I'm just placing one of the supports over here and then I'm I'm planning to take one edge sections over here you can make the go to view sorry Yeah, flip it this one and go to view so you can see the cable trace are here just give a fine just stretch it down this one and uh, move move this uh, cable trace supports from here to here i just want to place it exactly where you need so i'm placing over here and i'm uh, i want to stretch this one so i'm just uh, unchecking the this one so stretching up to here if you can move a little bit this one up to here so that will be perfect so then you can uh, uncheck uh, unwanted tires from here so it will show like this right and you can stretch up to the slab this one so it will show like this right if you select and uh, give a 3d, 3D view so you can see easily the cable tray support was created over here and from here you can copy this one copy and wherever you need the supports you can uh, give the supports for the cable trace easily you can give the cable trace supports like that so if you look at the 3d views or maybe it's oh, it's wrong one wrongly place that one just want to go to the right view then select this support copy it from here to here like this you can see all the support is showing like that so easily you can make the cable tray supports like that and uh, uh, different 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 cable tray different different branch if you want to make it the brand branch um, below the side also you can make it that one so select that one select it draw cable tray from here just to draw cable tray you can run the cable tray wherever you need so you can easily run the cable trace so this is the simple exercise how to make the cable trace and other things so you can see see that one and if you want to make it uh, down or for example i need to make one cable tray over here new cable tray just to draw cable tray from here i want to uh, draw this cable tray up to here so if, if it's going like that it will be clash right so just to go to there you can go to the 3d views you can see the clashes of the cable tray clearly you can see the clash of the cable tray and we need to avoid that uh, clashes right so for that you can just uh, one thing like if you want to make this one of the cable tray upside or uh, uh, one cable tray you can make it up or which one you prefer then you can up, up the cable tray so just go to modify make a split to a split with the gap so you can split over here then you can just make it this one cable tray a little bit up the elevations three three five zero so it will going up see the the clash will be um, here there is no clash then you can make to join with this one to here so automatically the that bend will be developed there so like that you can arrange the ceiling coordinations and other MEP service coordinations on uh, on on here so this is the uh, some way to run the cable tray in in above ceiling so here i think we need to change the uh, i think we can avoid this one because it is clashing with the ceiling also so just uh, need to be split here go to split over here because this ceiling is very down so at least we can run the cable tray yeah just uh, need to be make it up this cable tray a little bit you can make it up so you can just make it up that one so i'm having some issue with my mouse
yeah, you can you can make it up this cable tray okay so just to give a three the same height of this cable tray so select this one three three five zero just copy that one and paste it over here so it will make like like this okay so then you can permit this two so it will be joined and uh, uh, from the tray itself you can make the uh, the bend and everything so just to select like this and uh, draw the cable tray like this so if you got the any uh, idea for the making cable tray in the corridor area so that is the, this is the good way the experience and uh, if you like my video please subscribe my channel it's totally related to uh, rivet electrical and autocad thanks for watching